So let's have a recap on what we managed to achieve in this section of the course. Firstly, we found out how to import an API uh, into our project and to be able to use that API. In this case, it was the YouTube API. We also found out more about the Google Developer Console and how to get access to new API keys and access core functionality of Google specific APIs, which of course YouTube was one of them. We then created a basic YouTube player using the YouTube API and it played an our YouTube video within our app. We also found out and uh, used the concept of intents and uh, figured out or found out how they used within an Android app to move to new screens or to new areas of functionality within an app. And uh, of course we then enhanced our YouTube player, adding some extra screens to the application and then uh, used the YouTube standalone player within our app which also included playing a single video and a playlist complete with ads. Next section coming up, we're going to be talking about building and deploying. Uh, some of the key, some of the key points that you're going to be finding out about are key stores, private keys, debug and distribution builds, and more. So everything you wanted to know about this subject and more is included. So you'll come away from that section having a clear understanding of how to go about building your app. So I'll see you in that section.